Hey everybody, this is Doug Necker with Hissy Fit Reptiles, and this is Reptiles Remixed, Episode 5. And today's episode is being brought to you by Larry Dutrow of Python Keeper Unlimited. So be sure to check out his links down below in the description. Uh, he's donating a banana male ball python for our Patreon exclusive giveaway. More info on that at the end of the video, so be sure to check that out. Uh, but thank you very much, Larry, for your support. So today's episode, we're going to be going through... Um, what's in this box? This is from the first clutch of the season for me. They're all hatched out and out of the eggs. I actually did an egg cutting video you're going to see in this video, as well as a reveal of what all came out of those eggs. Uh, needless to say, I was wrong on almost everything I said was in the egg when I was doing the egg cutting, but uh, I'm really happy with the results. So stay tuned for that. Also, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a couple uh, nice locks from my uh, a couple of nice pairings that I still yet to come in the season. Uh, one of the female studs have follicles, so we're hoping to get some nice stuff from her. The other one still no sign of follicles, but um, she's been locking up pretty good with the male. So uh, that, and as well as a nice ovulation to show you guys. So be sure to check it out. This is Reptiles Remixed. Alright, so now I'm going to be recording this as well for YouTube, so I cannot see what you guys are commenting because I don't have the, the camera in hand. So again, this is Red Stripe paired to the Pastel Mystic Potion. Everything will be at least um, Mystic or Mojave. And so that's probably Pastave or Pastel Mystic. So these are probably going to be kind of hard to tell in the egg, but once they're out of the egg, so it'd probably be maybe it's still a little hard to tell, but at least we'll have a better idea. I don't think that has red stripe in it though, but I could be wrong. I think once we see one with red stripe in, we'll be, um, where we know for sure what it is. So that looks like uh, just a Mojave or a Mystic. Don't see any pastel or red stripe in that. And that one's pretty interesting. That one might have red stripe in it. Yeah, I think that one might. Hard to say. It's really blushed out though. So maybe like a mystic red stripe or Mojave red stripe. Yeah. 
And we get another Mystic, it looks like. Let's say just a Mystic or a Mojave, probably a Mystic. Fingers are slippery. Looks like it's got like red stripe in it. So I'm not sure if it has pastel in, but I would say it's like a Mojave red stripe or a Mystic red stripe. Now a lot of this is just guesses for now because I really haven't seen any of the stuff in egg, and I actually haven't even seen some of the stuff out outside of the egg before. If there's not really many pictures of this stuff online or anything. Um, I saw a few things from the Red Stripe forum on Facebook, or the Red Stripe group or whatever. And, wow. Oh yeah, I'd say that is a either Pastave Red Stripe or a Miss, uh, pastel Mystic Red Stripe. I think that's what we were shooting for. So that's pretty cool. Based on what I remember seeing from the pictures, I think that's what that is. So there's that one, and then there was, I think it was this one. I'm not really sure. This one I would say is for sure the pastel, either Mystic or Mojave red stripe. And then this one might have, this one just might be like a Mojave or Mystic red stripe without pastel. And I think one of them might just be a Pastave or a Pastel Mystic. Kind of interesting. Actually, there's a lot of variation. I think these two are the only ones that really look the same. So, pretty cool clutch. Um, being that it was a pastel mystic potion is awesome because there's no normals in there. However, uh, mystic and Mojave are kind of similar enough that where it's, um, you know, they're pretty similar. So. Sheet on that one. Yeah, this one's good. So it's pretty cool. This one might be similar to the other one that I, that last one I cut. So this might be a red stripe with a pastel, and maybe this is a like a pastel mystic red stripe, and maybe the other one's a pastave red stripe. But this one's the, I think the best possible out of there. Pretty cool stuff. All right, here we have the pastel ivory, and she is ovulating. Look at, she is huge. That's a really good ovulation right there. She does not look too happy. And 
she is pretty massive in that spot. As you can see, the bulge is just massive. I actually thought that I saw an ovulation the other day. I must have been, um, it must have just been how she was laying. But now this is officially an ovulation. Now she will have to go into pre lay shed here in the next few weeks. This is a pairing between the Orange Dream, Fire Spider, Possible Leopard, Possible Calico. It's paired up with the Orange Dream Yellow Belly. So this is a uh, pairing I've been waiting for for a while and they're finally locked up. And she does have follicles, so we're hoping for some super Orange Dream stuff from this pairing. Alright, this right here is the Blade Clown. And she is locked up with the Red Stripe. It's a nice lock between those two. So this is magma stuff in the making. So if she ends up going this season, I can get some red stripe het clowns and red stripe blade het clowns. So really, really excited about this pairing. She's an awesome looking female and red stripe with the clown gene is amazing. So really hoping we can get some red stripe het clowns this season. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the Results of that clutch that I just cut. So everything is out of the egg now. This right here is a Mojave female. Very nice Mojave. The only single gene snake in the clutch. Next up is a past ave, which is a pastel Mojave. You can tell here that the blushing in the head is a lot different than the head on this one. This one's darker and that one's got the blushing. So this is a past ave. This is a male. Very nice. Next up is this male, and I believe this to be a red stripe mystic, mystic red stripe. As you can see here in the belly, it's a lot more going on right here, went into the belly area, where with a Mojave type animal, a lot wider and cleaner stops near the edge. And that's been kind of, uh, if you look up other videos and stuff like that, the mystics tend to have uh, different bellies than Mojave's. So with this being red stripe in there as well, I believe this is to be a mystic red stripe. Very nice male. Next up is this one. I believe this is a pastel mystic red stripe. Could also be a pastel Mojave red stripe. Not 100% sure. And this one right here is So here's the male. So this is the male. So more likely be a holdback. See the coloration on this is a lot different than something like in, in pastel mystics and pastaves are similar. They're not the same, but they're similar. You can tell that this is a lot different than that. It'll be able to tell better too when they shed out. So obviously they haven't shed yet, so um, what's really cool is that I also have this one. This right here is a female. Patterning is very similar on this one, the way that the 
that everything looks and the coloration and everything. So I, I'm pretty sure whatever this one is, this, these two are the same exact thing. So I'm thinking pastel mystic red stripe. This one here looks like it's already starting to go into its shed. Um, so I'm going to, you know, getting a little bit darker, I can tell by your eyes. Except this one's a little clearer yet, but this one's starting to kind of haze up a little bit. So, so right now the coloration looks a little bit different if you look at the striping. So it looks a little bit more dull. But um, just yesterday, it still looked like that. So we will see a lot better when when they all shed out. And then finally, we have this one, which is also a triple gene. I believe this one is more than likely a Pastave red stripe. Whatever this one is, I think is different than these two. I think these two are the same and this one's different. So either this one's a Pastave red stripe and then these two are Pastel Mystic red stripes, or this is a Pastel Mystic red stripe and these two are Pastave red stripes. So. Um, anybody who has any experience with any um, Pastavi red stripe stuff, because I know that stuff has been produced before, feel free to comment or share links or whatever um, for showing that kind of stuff. So, um, but really cool, awesome odds, three triples out of a six egg six egg clutch. So very excited about that. Some really cool looking babies right here. So we'll have an update once they shed out. So a great clutch coming from the Red Stripe Red to the Pastel Mystic Potion. Couldn't have asked for better odds on that. The only thing that was a bummer about the whole entire clutch was that a couple weeks in the incubation, I lost one of the eggs. Um, went bad, so I'm not sure what exactly happened there, but everything else turned out great. Out of the six eggs that hatched, uh, hit three triples out of six, which is amazing. Great odds on that. I couldn't be happier. And um, to see red stripe in four out of the six animals is great too, because was what, part of the purpose was to breed that red stripe to that female, is to get red stripe into some of that stuff. So uh, the only thing I gotta try to figure out now is which of the triple gene ones have Mystic and which ones have Mojave. So again, it was Pastel, Mystic Red Stripes, and Pastave Red Stripes. That's so Pastel, Mojave Red Stripes. So um, Pastave Red Stripes have been produced before, and I've seen pictures of them, and I'll, once these things shed, maybe I'll be, better be able to tell what they are. Um, and if I can figure out which one's a Pastave Red Stripe, then the other one or other ones uh, should be Pastel Mystic Red Stripe. So I'm really excited about getting that going, and these guys are going through their shed now, starting to go into shed. So really excited about that. Also, I'm excited about that Orange Dream Yellow Belly bred to the um, Orange Dream Fire Spider male. So I can end up with some super orange dream stuff in the future. Really excited about that. The pastel ivory. Really excited about that ovulation because uh, she was bred by that pastel gravel, or he's a pastel yellow belly. We gotta figure that out by this breeding trial. So we should hopefully see some highway or ivory stuff in the clutch when that comes out. Um, hopefully it's highway stuff, so we can say that this guy is a pastel gravel. Uh, knock off the whole yellow belly take from his uh, from his little rat card to say pastel gravel. If it's not, then it'll be a pastel yellow belly. So, um, but still, it's gonna be an exciting clutch because um, I know I'm gonna be pumped up the whole entire time until I see a, a highway or ivory mark in there. So, uh, really excited about that. Also, if you haven't become a Patreon supporter and you'd like to be, uh, patreoncom reptiles. Um, if you sign up for his Secret Reptiles um, on Patreon and pledge anything in the month of June, you're gonna have a, um, a chance to win this banana male ball python. Again, this was provided by Larry Dutro of Python Keeper Unlimited. So this is a picture of the banana male you can win. So all you have to do is Pledge to Hissy Fit Reptiles in the month of June. The payment won't even come out until July 2nd. That payment should start to come out, um, which is a Monday. So you wouldn't even see your payment come out until then. So $2 is the is the minimum um, amount to pledge and you have a chance to win a male banana ball python. And again, it was donated by Larry Dutcho of Python Keeper Unlimited. So 
If you'd like to do that, or you have any questions for me, contact me, kissyfitreptiles at gmail.com, or you can also message me uh, here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook Messenger. You can check me out on all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to be an awesome, awesome year for Hissy Fit Reptiles and for you guys. Um, we should have a lot of cool stuff that I'm selling and giving away. So be on the lookout for more great content from Hissy Fit Reptiles. Next time you check in with me, I should have a couple more clutches coming out of their eggs. So, so be sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell notification so you get notifications when Hissy Fit Reptiles uploads videos to YouTube so you can see some of the next great stuff coming out of here. And we have some really cool stuff coming this season, so be sure to stay tuned. Hissy Fit Reptiles and Reptiles Remixed. Thanks for watching.